Hey guys, this is Moan Pober, and you know everyone out there on the YouTube is talking about starting a dropshipping business, Shopify business, all that stuff. Now, as someone who's investing and buying in businesses for the last few years full time, I want to show you what I think about that business model. Should you start one? Should you potentially buy one? Here are my thoughts. You don't need to opt into anything or pay for any course. Just watch the full video and learn some of my thoughts as someone who's buying businesses for a living. And yeah, let me know what you think. Enjoy. Hey guys, so yeah, let's talk about dropshipping. Let's talk about Shopify. I see all over YouTube so many videos on Shopify and dropshipping. I see 16 years old kids uh, showing screenshots of uh, doing thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars a day, a month. I don't know like what to believe, if to believe. I want to share with you my thoughts on this business model based on me really evaluating that business model. I mean, in our company, we're looking to buy and invest in businesses. And obviously one of the uh, kind of businesses we were looking at is obviously this type of business, a dropshipping business, a Shopify business. And I want to tell you exactly what I think about it. Do you need to start one, invest in one, buy existing one maybe, or maybe you shouldn't get into it at all. I'm going to share you what I think about it and um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. My main goal for this video is to save you a lot of money and time potentially invested into this model. I can tell you, I learned a lot about it. I learned a lot about this specific business model and many others that we're looking into. And I want to make sure you're not making the same mistakes that I see many other kids and just people in general who believe that this is the best way for them to get to financial freedom or to get to a point where they're making a lot of money um, from, from anything that isn't their day-to-day -day job. Now, first of all, when you're seeing all those videos and screenshots about dropshipping and all that stuff, I think, first of all, you need to ask yourself, why is that person even teaching me that stuff? What is Agenda is? And my problem in this space is that many people teach about dropshipping and Shopify because they have a course to sell you about how to make money from dropshipping and Shopify. It doesn't, I'm not saying that any of them are dishonest or anything like that, but many of those people, and I know a few of them in person, made some money with their stores. Many times it's money that they made in the past. Many times they're showing you screenshots of their best days or months and telling you that that income is consistent. And I can tell you based on many of those dropshipping business that I saw, I was doing due diligence to buy them. I was, I was basically looking at their PL, their actual financials. I can tell you that many of those businesses are not making the amount of money that they're saying that they're making. And even if they're making, so I saw many of those businesses. I can tell you there's only few that I saw they're making um, above seven figure a year. And those that are making above seven figure a year, the amount of profitability that is left after all the expenses is very little compared to the amount that you think it is. Um, the problem that I have with people who are telling people to get into this space is because, hey, if you made so much money from dropshipping yourself, you wouldn't really sell that to other people because it's not, it's unlike the crypto space, which uh, by the way, you see tons of gurus in that space nowadays as well. It's like the next, the next new thing, the next shiny syndrome, um, become rich yesterday thing. The difference is people who teach crypto, um, there's, there's a very much more uh, honest and, and better way to make money. If you're just, uh, let's say, giving people the idea that you can invest in ICOs or specific cryptos. There are people who are making, I guess, not legit money by, um, I guess, sharing the opportunity of some kind of an MLM, like Bitcoin and stuff like that. And they're making money from those affiliate link, which I, I don't appreciate, um, which is similar to what I see with dropshipping. Many gurus out there or people who teach about this space, they tell you, hey, come and make a lot of money from creating stores. At the same time, if they really made a lot of money from their stores, they wouldn't bring in other people because they're competing directly on the same product. Everyone is basically buying from AliExpress. They're buying the same products and they're competing on usually Facebook or Instagram ads on the same product. So what I'm saying is if they really made so much money just from their dropshipping sites, they wouldn't try to expand and bring in people to compete with their product. And I hope that makes sense. So you really need to understand What's the agenda of those people? Why they try to sell you course or teach you those services? Are they making most of their money from the course, uh, which many of them are, or they're actually making money from their products? And many of the people who teach dropshipping, there's no legit reason for them to sell you that business model 
because you're basically competing with them directly. Now I know you're probably going to tell me, hey, there's so many products on 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 uh, AliExpress. I mean, you, you're not really competing with them. There's enough for everyone. Yes, in some kind of way, but based on the things that I'll tell you um, in, in this video, you understand that you're eventually competing with everyone. You have the same product, the same ads, the same uh, pages. It's literally people copy each other. And if you don't have anything unique with your product, it's really hard to scale that business. Now, I want to show you a few reasons why people get into this space and why they think it's a good space. And again, I'm not saying it's not a good space. People can make money from there. The question is how fast, uh, which I, I don't like the, the term fast in any business, uh, but then it's a matter of how consistent the income that you can get when you get the skill. And that's the first thing I want to talk about is people get into this space because they think they can make millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars in a matter of a few days, a few months even. And my problem with that is that it, it's really emphasizing that get, get rich quick mentality, which I'm totally against. I think that in the end of the day, making legit sustainable or building legit sustainable business all comes down to really mastering habits and mastering skills. And yes, there are skills you need to master in that space of dropshipping, like Facebook ads, like building Shopify store, like doing marketing, email marketing for many of those stores, which is all good. Those are really important skills to have. Uh, my problem is that people think they can get a lot of money. They, like I see courses promising six-figure profits within 30, 60 days. And, and don't get me wrong, I'm sure people have done that. Uh, but my question to them is they've done, so first of all, it's six figures in, in sales. The amount of property that's left after expenses is maybe 20, 30%, which is, there's nothing wrong about that. My question to them would be how sustainable that business model is. So let's say they find a winning product, how long that product is going to be there? Because based on my experience and people that I see are in that space and businesses that we're looked into. And again, when I'm looking into businesses, I'm signing confidential agreements, which means I'm allowed to see all of their numbers, all of their systems, everything. So I know a lot about those businesses just by doing due diligence, if to invest and buy them or not. And those are my problems. I basically see businesses that have lots of peaks, up and ups and downs. They're basically dependent on one product that might get sales for a few weeks or a few months, but those peaks happens until their competitors are stealing their, their ads, their, they're basically the same product because it's usually even the same suppliers. And like I said before, if you don't have anything unique with your products, it's so easy to, to some, for someone to steal your products and ads. And it probably took you thousands of dollars to just test on different ads before you're finding your winning product and then when you find one someone can still and copy your ad literally within days if it sees it as a successful one so that's one of my main problems you don't have anything unique people think they can make money quick before having have any skill set they think hey I'll, I'll just go there tomorrow and i'll be a millionaire within a few days and I, I just hate that mindset i think that anything worthy can should take time and it, it's taking time and unless you're building good daily habits there's no way that you'll be successful in in this or anything else for example, I had a friend who was in this space who we looked into his business. He took him so many months to, first of all, learn that skill set, to learn how to do Facebook ads, to build sites, like literally almost more than, I think more than a year before he became profitable. And I mean, profitable for a specific product. It's not like he, he got back all that money that he invested. So that's something you need to think about. First of all, how much money you probably need to invest into a business. Like I know people who invested um, anywhere between 50 to 100 grand and, and never became profitable. And that's very something very common in that space. People tell you, hey, you're going to invest 200, 300, 500 bucks and become profitable, which is not truth. And the margins are, are not the best. And also, and also the fact that as soon as you make money, like everyone will try to compete with you. So you need to have a very strategic system and many times huge teams to, to make it legit product. My other problem is just the barrier to entry into this business is, is just so small. I mean, which I guess what makes it really appealing to everyone who's getting into this space. It just You can literally go to AliExpress, put that product on your site and sell it or try to sell it within just a few dollars that you spend on ads. Um, so literally every 15 years old kid can get into it. You don't need any experience, which is cool. Uh, but again, are you building a legit sustainable business? Are you actually going to make money from this business two, three years from now? Or are you just... Um, trying your best to learn a skill set, which I guess there's nothing wrong about it. There's something really good about 
learning those skills as like marketing and, and in general Facebook ads and Instagram ads and email marketing and copywriting to sell your product on your site and how to run e-commerce business in general. So I think if you if you're in there for the skill set, I think it's great. Uh, if you're there for building a sustainable business, I think there are better ways. Like like I said, I know people invested 50, 100 grand and, and never made money from it. And in that money, you can invest into existing business that it maybe isn't in the e-commerce or, or dropshipping space, but you can actually buy a legit business in the e-commerce space. So let's say you learn the skill set in dropshipping, you can take that money instead and buy a legit e-commerce business with a unique product with uh, many times patents on those products and buy and leverage that business assets to buy many times million dollar business. So you can buy, that's the difference, right? So in a nutshell, if you start a dropshipping business from scratch, you need to spend 10, 20, 30 grand to buy 20, 30 grand in ads. You can instead take that money and buy an existing e-commerce business that's already existing for many, many years that have unique product, unique patents, unique clients, unique brand recognition and fans and followers and use that 50, 100 grand and leverage that business assets to buy many times a million dollar business. And that's what we're doing every day. We're looking to buy businesses with my investment firm to buy businesses and using what we call a leverage buyout uh, type acquisitions. So we can buy with a very small amount from home, a very large amount of business. Um, and by the way, if you want to learn more about that, just check the other videos, subscribe, uh, comment below. Let me, let me know what you think in general about, about this, this video, because I know I, I just I see so many, so many videos on that topic and I just want to make sure that people are aware of what what's actually in for them or what's going to happen for them when they're going to start to, to get into this type of business. So like I said, I talked to many people who spent a lot of money to get themselves to a point where they were making any money. And even the, the returns on those investments are not the best. Like I said, with 100,000, you can buy sometimes million dollar business. With that 100,000 in e-commerce, even if you get the best product, you're getting maybe 100% ROI. Um, I mean, after product cost, there's not much left there. And I think the fact that you're not leveraging business assets, you just, you're wasting so much opportunities. My other big problem with that business is just that, especially nowadays with the, with Amazon Prime and all those really fast shipping, um, the fact that it takes sometimes three, four weeks for the product to arrive to that customer is, is just a, in my opinion, a deal breaker. I mean, just, just think about it. People in the US, especially, or just in places in Europe, can order product and get it tomorrow. And the fact that you have now products that you try to sell and just get after three, four weeks, I mean, that's why I see people in the business getting so many refunds and complaints. And even in, even if they write it down in their sales later, I don't care if you, you're gonna say, hey, I'm just gonna write it down for them. Yes, you can write it down. And yes, you'll get some sales because people understand that, but the refund rates and just the conversion rate when they see something like that compared to someone who can send you the product tomorrow is just very big. So yeah, in a nutshell, I think for someone who's like 15, 16, it's a cool business. I think that any business to get into when you're so young is good to get into just for the skill set and the experience that you can get. At the same time, if you have a sustainable amount of money to invest, I wouldn't invest into in dropshipping business just because it's not a legit business. The reason that we're not looking to buy those type of businesses is because they're many times just really dependent on one man. It's like a one man show. If there's no, if that person is not in the business, there's basically no business. So I wouldn't buy that type of business unless there's tons of employees and there's a very, um, I guess, legit system that's running even without the owner, which is not the case in most of the dropshipping businesses that I saw. Um, and yeah, just the fact that you don't have anything unique, everyone can copy you in a second, um, making that type of business mo model not attractive for an investment firm and someone who's looking to buy legit businesses that can run without, without me being there day to day. Um, but again, take the, it's up to you. It, you make the decision if you want to get into it or not. I think that if you're young, it's cool. If you're older and you have more money to invest, I think that there are better ways because especially if you're looking for something sustainable that can grow over time and not being dependent on someone who's trying to copy you and compete with you every day. And the last thing I, I will just um, um, say again is that make sure you, you, you know who you listen to. And many of the people who, talk, who teach you about dropshipping and, and Shopify, um, and, and again, I'm not against them. They're trying to build a business on their own by selling you courses, uh, but just make sure you understand their agenda and make sure that you understand that they're making most of their money many times from their courses and not from their actual drop shipping sites. 
maybe they had like one good month or one good day and based on that they're selling you the results of what's possible and showing you and making you think like if that's their consistent monthly sales and based on me looking at hundreds of companies every month some of them obviously drop shipping businesses some of them not I can tell you that that's not the case and I just wanted to make you aware of that and I hope you you'll learn a bit from it I think that um, there are better ways at the same time if you're young and you don't have any business experience I think that's it's cool to learn those those skills uh, but have the right expectations and if you have that you're all good so yeah if you like that video let me know in the comments below please subscribe like the like the uh, video and let me know what you think and uh, hit the notification button I know it's it's important if I want to grow a YouTube channel and I'm here sharing just documenting my journey I know that some of those videos I wish that someone will, will tell me uh, if I wanted to go into this business and I'm lucky that I had people who are in that space who told me about those things before I invested into those type of businesses so I, I hope that added some value to you if you had added any value to you please let me know in the comments below and I'll, I'll get back to you and say thank you so yeah take care I'll see you soon